<laughs> hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm DJ B Love from Project Bubblegum, and I have a review for you. A review of something I've had for a little over a month now that I've been enjoying. Now, like as you can see on my to my left here, it's a Zotac brand Z box. EI 750 and I got the plus model because I didn't feel like buying a separate hard drive and all that stuff you know and so I'm gonna start by giving you my opinion I I, I like this thing I enjoyed it I mean it works perfect for me for what I got it for I don't exactly I can't exactly move the camera to show you what's sitting here but that's all right We'll get into that in a moment, but I just want to say that this this is a good review. It's not a bad review, but uh, it's first I'll give you the facts that laid out in front of me, then I'll give you my opinion, and then I'm going to show you the boot up. Then I'll show you a little bit of gameplay of a couple games, just to give you an idea of a thing. I'm not running no benchmarks. Not going to give you any of that. You know, uh, I'm not that kind of person. I just rather show you what it looks like. So here's the box. Of course, I've already opened it and it's, I've gotten everything out of it. But uh, here's the front of it. So as you can see on the right side there, uh, you know, it's the plus model. Uh, here's the side. The side tells you a little more about it. The other side, which shows you uh, things. Uh, here's the back side of the box and of course the top now this thing it says what's inside is uh, one Zotac Z-Box one stand one VESA mount four mount screws one AC adapter one DVI HDMI adapter one USB drive with OS driver one antenna one power cord one support DVD one warranty card one user manual and one quick guide the Zotac Z-Box EI750 Plus its CPU is a fourth generation Intel Core i7 4770R. It's a quad core, it's 3.2 gigahertz with a 6 uh, meg cache up to 3.9 gigahertz because you can overclock it, they give you that option. The GPU is Intel Iris Pro Graphics 5200. The uh, internal expansion you got two 204 pin DDR3 1600 SO DIMM slots. 8 gigabytes of memory included because again this is the plus model one 2.5 inch SATA 6 gigabyte a second HDD SDD bay which includes one terabyte HDD not not solid state sorry I'm anyways anyways uh, one mini SATA 6 gigabyte a second slot which I don't have that filled yet I will get a mini SATA and I will use that for the OS eventually. I just got it as is and wanted to run it for a month to see how it was. I mean, run it one or two days a week, yeah, but you know, after after that, then you can see how the hardware really handles. So it's networking, it gives you dual gigabit LAN, which is 10 or 100 or 1000 megabytes per second, 802.11 AC Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. I can vouch with Bluetooth. I actually use Bluetooth on it. Anyways, uh, car reader has the SD, SDHC, SDXC, and the MMC slot. Which, yeah, that's right up in the front. The audio is onboard 8 channel digital audio and stereo analog audio. The IOs, you got two display ports, uh, DVI digital single link outputs. Uh, HDMI via DVI HDMI adapter, four USB 3.0 ports. Its dimensions 188 millimeter by 188 millimeter by 51 millimeter, which is 7.4 inches by 7.4 inches by 2.01 inch. This thing's thin. I mean, it really is thin and small. So when you open it up, there's another box inside, of course. Pull that out and other than the machine, I pulled out this, which has goodies, a few goodies inside, so if you pull that out, I like to keep that there. The, the warranty card, warranty and terms, 
Uh, here's uh, the user manual, which is in, which is cool. I mean, it's a user manual. Uh, Contendum. I don't think I actually need to look at that. The quick start guide, which is in many, many languages. I mean, you gotta go international when you're dealing with the electronics, modern, modern day electronics. It's, if you don't go international, a lot of our cell phones would be in Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, funny. Here's the driver disc, and there's the little USB thumb drive that the drivers are on because it does not come with a C ROM, DVD, Blu ray. None of that doesn't come with that, and not everybody has a USB disk drive, and not everybody can get one. I just so happen to have one, and you know, I still ended up using the USB drivers because it was quicker. I mean, I find it always quicker to load from from a thumb drive than it is from the disk drive. So, and yeah, and that's right protected. Anyways, set that aside. Here is the mount that goes on the back of monitors, or you can mount it to the wall, you can mount it to the table, you can mount it to anything. Here's the mount, uh, let's see, how is it, uh, oh yeah, just, there's the button there that releases it, you just push, push the, uh, computer down into it, yeah, no, I don't want to unplug it, that, I mean, just, I have to plug it back in, but yeah, it just slides in, and it, and it, able to mount. Here's the uh, stand for it, for it if you want to stand it up straight like it shows on the box. On the box it shows you with the stand on the bottom. Uh, I had that for the first uh, few weeks you know and then I and now I have it on the side so I wanted to test airflow you know heat and all that and all that and then uh, which I don't use because I'm using straight DVD ID. Now, uh, here's the uh, HDMI DVI adapter that comes with it. I haven't used one of those in a long time. Okay, so enough of that. Um, <coughs> let's rotate this around here. So we're going to put that down here. I want to grab this up. There we go. Just slide that forward. All right. Now let's rotate that more. And let's move this down. And there is our fun little uh, Zotac right here. Here's my uh, Asus DVD drive right here. Okay. And uh, so yes, we'll look at this and uh, okay, we'll tilt it back up. You can see outside now. Uh, here it is and look how small this thing is this thing's small I did buy a USB hub because sometimes I use more than four USB devices so I did get a hub and that's cool you know, and, uh, there's the front as you can see here's the headphone the headphone the microphone jack here's your card reader here's a front USB which I don't need that plugged in um, here's your two LED indicators, here's your power and here's a uh, usage. Here's a RF uh, reader and there's a power button. On the top is one USB port right there. It has a little thing. Here's the vents where all the heat's going to vent out. The bottom is where the screws to open the uh, boxes and then where uh, the, the stand uh, goes into. And then you got the back here, which has uh, here's the power right here. Here's the two uh, dual display for 4K video. Because this thing says 4K Ultra. Of course, here's the DVI port, the DVI D. Two USB ports. Here's the dual gig, gigabit LAN. Here's the uh, the digital audio thing right there. And here's your antenna. All right, so uh, let's. Uh, unscrew this because they want you to have quick and easy access for those who bought the core without the hard drive without the RAM you know so uh, me I just felt like lazy I wanted it right away and I wanted it to be all set up and good to go which way does this go I'm trying to remember which way this pops out yeah 
I would be using my webcam, but it was flickering. So I'm using, I'm currently using my laptop's webcam. Okay, how's this slide off? I want to get inside this thing. It's supposed. There we go. Okay, the other side. Other side pulls out. Okay. All right. So now we slide that off that way, and I pick that up. See, and there's the vent where the airflow comes in. See, there's a power light. Here's the hard drive. This is a terabyte hard drive that comes with the plus model. It's a Samsung uh, hard drive. Underneath it is the eight gigs of RAM, where the RAM goes. Um, and the mini SATA. Here's the fan for the processor and the uh, for the CPU and the GPU. Here's your uh, Wi-Fi card. It's Intel. It's but I mean that's what it looks like on the inside. That's that's what you got. That's what you get. And now I just got to put this back on. Okay, that slides back in there. I don't normally do reviews that much. Okay, that's not going on correctly. Okay. Ah, there we go. Got it. Got it, y'all. <laughs> Got it, coach. Let me back in the game. <laughs> okay. That in, that in, that in. Let me uh, screw these back in. It's nice, bad boys. And so, you know, I got cheap, cheap keyboard and mouse combo, wireless. Uh, and of course, my Zeus disk drive here. I've got a PlayStation 3 controller plugged in that I use a uh, software tool to, to emulate it like it's a 360 controller for, you know, Xbox 360. Um, I got Connectland uh, satellite speakers right here for, for my audio speakers. I also have a uh, headphone with a built-in microphone. Jesus. Oh, no wonder. Put that in the wrong hole. Sorry, I'm a I'm a girl. I don't I don't know how to put things in the right holes. That's a man's thing. To get all stereotypical about that, we're not going to discuss lesbianism right now. <laughs> wrong time. That I've got a 24-inch uh, Acer monitor. So we're going to try to get the proper tilt here. There we go. So let's turn this on. And there's the uh, Zotax uh, ring that, that glows on. So you can see how quickly this boots up. I have Windows 7 64-bit on here because this is a 64-bit processor. And already passed the BIOS. There's not much in the BIOS, but it it's you can do what you want to in the BIOS. I'm not overclocking this. I'm going to show you as base as it's as it comes all I did was install my OS and my games and stuff I've been using that just like that okay sometimes that happens with my keyboard and mouse where it doesn't want to act like it's there do -do -do -do. it's in? no? is it? no I'm still not still not getting it okay is it now? what about now? Don't give me this. Okay, plug it in. But now you don't want to work. I can't get in if you don't work. And you're not working. Why are you not working? I'll put you in here. Does this one work? Oh, there we go. Right. No? Why are we not working? Why, why are we not working? I'm supposed to be... I'm doing a video here. I'm trying to review something. Why are you not working? Seriously not working? Hmm. <sighs> Sigh. Well, now put you in the front. Do we, do we have action now? No, we still don't have action. Now all of a sudden the keyboard doesn't want to work and neither does the mouse. Ah, oh, you gotta love shoddy craftsmanship. 
this will pop you out plug you straight into here that way we can stop doing with that Mm -hmm. Are putting upside down? Yes. Here we go. Oh. Hey. You're not doing anything? Okay, that did Okay, that doesn't look right. Okay, then I'm gonna pull that one out. I don't need the disk drive. I do need a keyboard and mouse. And now you're not working. We're okay, I'll, I'll be back. Alright, we're back. And I think I got it this time. Okay, I thought I had it. It was... All of a sudden it gets to the OS part and it doesn't want to work. Hey, I can't log in without a password. <sighs> Front lights are in indicating usage and stuff and... I'm not getting anything. It's this is not the computer. This has got to be the keyboard. Keyboard mouse. No. Okay. I'll be back. All right, we're back. We are back. Fix the problem. So now you can finish watching it. Boot up the rest here. Oi. <laughs> oi, man. man. Oi. This is insane. You go to the video and things just don't want to work for you. That's all right. I fixed the problem. It was it's it does with the keyboard and the mouse. Yes, now it's going to reinstall the drivers for the keyboard and mouse. But uh, yeah, not kidding. All right, there we go. We're in. We're in. <laughs> we are in. We are definitely in. So let's. Rotate this around a little. I can slide this over. Move these speakers so I can move the monitor. There we go. All right, now there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ready to use. I know. Ah, so, all right. Let's load this up so I can use my gaming controller. Yeah, I don't care. We can do that later. <laughs> Yes. I, I like advanced system care for those who are wondering what that was. It's one of their things. Yes, we'll load this up. Uh, we'll load that driver up. Yeah. I'm just this is my temporary fix for using a game controller until I get one that's perfect for it. Once I get one that's perfect for it, then all is well. Game controller, nope. Did not load that time. And do it again. It's not the first time, it works the second time. Okay, so yes. Now, no? Still no? It's unfortunate. Try it again. Yeah, this is the downside of this software. How about now? Perfect. I can be nice. Alright, let's. Let's load up, uh, you know what, we'll go, we'll start with something that, that, that's racing, uh, Need for Speed the Run. There we go, that, that's one to start with. Alright. Now, uh, some games you can load, you can play in 1080, uh, with full detail and stuff. I recommend not using the anti alien because that tends to slow things down and some games I I cannot play in 1080 with full detail some it's 1080 in mid uh, detail or it's 720 either way I'm going to show you the video settings I have for this game before I actually run a, uh, some of a race to show you I mean I don't want to draw this out too too long or anything. Let me uh, cut my audio off. I don't need. I don't want sound. I don't want to hit no third party hit on this video and then it not be able to help people who are curious about Zotag Z boxes. We're gonna go to the settings. We will go to display. 
So it's uh you may not be able to read that, but it's 1080, it's a uh, 1080, 60 hertz full screen, default screen. Let's go to advanced. I have the mesh quality on ultra, terrain on quality on ultra, shadow on ultra, texture ultra, effects ultra, undergrowth ultra, V-Sync ultra. Okay, so everything's full detail and it's in 1080. Alright, so we're going to go into the challenge. I'm just going to... Yeah, that, that works. Doesn't matter which race I go into. Pick that. And then I'll just... I want something that's definitely going to utilize some power. Some speed. Yeah, whatever. Where's that GTR? Not nah, 240. There we go. <sighs> really doesn't matter, but I want a retro racer pack. We'll go over here. We'll pick one of these ones. Let's select it. We're going to get into this race. <laughs> now I, I do want to give a hint uh, any video you see with any uh, video game or gameplay in it that I've done since uh, since the middle of December has been done on this computer you know so I have gameplay so as you can see this is working pretty smoothly it's it looks awesome it plays awesome you know I'm just doing horrible because again I'm trying to pay attention at displaying things it's a uh, oops wrong button I want to change the camera view so you can see the car there we go. And let's go into the car. So you can see some crashing and some crash detail and stuff. Yeah, there we go. There's the view I want to see. Yeah, so this is playing pretty smoothly, pretty good. Okay, uh, so now, okay, I'm just going to quit because. I don't want to take up too much of your time with with one one game or whatever. I want to get into it. Now, down in the description below, there will be a link to their website so that you can either learn more from them or buy it. Uh, the mention of 4K, um, I don't have a 4K monitor or anything like that, so I can't test the 4K, but judging by its hardware and how it plays with games and stuff uh, I think your 4k use will probably be blu-ray video high quality video I don't think you'll get uh, 4k gaming out of this you'll get 1080 and 720 you'll get gaming like a 360 or in some cases Xbox one or ps4 or ps3 you know it, it'll be along the lines of that okay don't okay then don't close on me properly it's all right some sometimes this this game doesn't close properly. It happens on a few of the games. Four. We'll be back. All right, we're back. Yeah, no, the the game crashed and I had to actually reboot. I mean, it happens from time to time. So uh, let's uh, load up Diablo three. Okay, mouse keyboard point and click game. Here we go. One of my favorites. Uh, season 5 just started uh, today, actually. So I'll be playing some of this later, you know. Uh, glad I have this this nice Zotac Z-Box EI750 Plus to work with. <laughs> Alright. Just wait for all this to load up. Yeah, season five starts today, January fifteenth, two thousand sixteen. Let's go straight to play. I already did the patching uh, and all that. I played a little. I just haven't started a new season yet. I think I'll actually. I might live stream. You know, uh, my initial play in the season five. Yes. 
because I need to get get my Twitch back on and uh, you know contribute more to my YouTube channel. For those who didn't catch at the beginning, I am DJ B Loved from Project Bubblegum, <laughs> and I'm trying to review the Zotac Z Box EI750 Plus. I gotta say it again, Nate. EI750 Plus. It's, I, in my opinion, the best out of all their mini PCs. All right, so we'll go into game settings for you first. Uh, where are we at? Uh, options? No options. Okay, never mind that. That option. We'll just start game. We'll load it up. I I know what it is. I have it set to 1080. I have the details up except for uh, what is the lighting is not on smooth, but it's on high detail. Everything's up basically. It's full detail. Other than the smooth lighting, is full detail. I just didn't see the need for smooth lighting. It didn't make too much difference, but did it did slow the game down a little. So let's uh, hit escape uh, options. Video. Yeah, so full screen, uh, 1080, 60 hertz, uh, vertical sync, reflections, foreground uh, frame per seconds, uh, max out at 150, background max at 8, texture quality high, shader, shadow quality is high, physics is high, clutter is high. Again, Recommended not to use the anti-aliing that slows down. We're not using low effects either. So, what is it? Uh, shadow quality. Yeah, shadows on high, but not smooth. You know, uh, smooth may be a little too much for us. So, we'll return to the game and uh, we'll just jump right into something and start hacking and slashing through. All right. There we go. As you can see how this nicely looks. This place now it has a way to it, so I mean and this is just straight up full everything except for smooth lighting. Yeah. And this is playing nicely. I I don't get I don't get any sputtering, I don't get any uh any slowdown like that. How it starts playing is how it's gonna continue playing. I've had this thing for a little over a month now. I've been playing it, I've been testing it, I've been doing different things, and this this sucker keeps up with me. It, it, it's awesome for for such a little thing. For such a little thing, it's it's pretty awesome. I was hoping to get into something with a bunch of like little creatures running around, but I'm just you know walking through this, gathering all these creatures around me with no slowdown or anything look at that you see and there's no slowdown none none whatsoever okay so I'm gonna exit this out because I'll, I'll play I'll play into it later exit that out now here's a game that definitely takes a toll on the machine that I had to dumb down to 720 just to get anywhere in the uh, high 20 to low 30 frames a second uh, with details down because the, the video is basically a 1.5 gig video card for video memory so you can't really do as as much with high demanding games like Grand Theft Auto 5 you know uh, <laughs> Let's load this up so we can show you a bit of uh, gameplay with GTA 5. Because I know a lot of you gamers out there are wondering how how machines uh, work with GTA 5. GTA 5 is a high demand, uh, <coughs> high hardware demand game. That's yes, that's what I'll go with. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, so when I was in 1080, <clears throat> I was getting a little bit of slowdown and uh, whatnot, so I had to drop down to 720 uh, with my graphics. There we go. 
So a, a good thing with GTA 5, it, it tells you how much video memory you're using. Right now, I got it set to 900 megs out of uh, 1504. So uh, of course, I had to lower it to DirectX 10.1, not 11 as well, to slow down. So it's 720, 60 hertz, uh, no FXAA, no MSAA. VSync, I, I, I turn that on for everything. It, cool, you know. Population density is high, uh, population variety is down because that also take the toll on here. Uh, distance scaling, texture quality, shader quality, is everything set to normal. Reflection MSAA is off, water quality is normal, normal. Soft is soft shadows, uh, post FX normal. No anisotropic filtering, I don't use it. Ambient inclusion is off, uh, you know, again, no anisotropic. Um, all right, so let's get into a little bit of gameplay. So we'll just load up. Uh, I haven't played too much of this game, just because again I've been testing this this machine with different games and different things, running emulators and uh, you know high quality video files and stuff. I use Free Loops on here for my music. And this machine works well with that, you know. Uh, I need to get a better audio setup than I have here than these two satellite speakers, but th for right now, they work fine. They're cool. They work fine. Uh, just waiting for this to load a little. You know. Sorry, I I do apologize. I'm one of those people, I don't like to do much editing on my videos. You know, sure I'll pause the video in mid recording or whatever but I like to show you what I see that way in cases like this you can see how long it takes to load GTA 5 uh, and I told you the specs I'm using on GTA 5 you know 720 mid detail mid everything <clears throat> and this is this is a large game as well so you know it's really gonna kick into that 8 gigs of RAM you know, uh, uh, still loading. Oh, there we go. Now we're in. Let's just can we walk through the door? All right. So let's hop in our car. You can see the graphics aren't too bad for having to run it in 720 with only medium details. Not that bad. But I hop in here and I get I get usually between high 20s and low 30 frames a second. But as in when I was running 1080 or DirectX 11 on this game, I was getting um, mid to high 10s and low 20s at the most. So you know I just gonna speed through here and crash into anything and everything because I'm a horrible player when I'm not focusing on what I'm playing I'm just trying to speed through here and I, I of course I'm running a few uh, scripts on this game script mods so I have a speedometer and stuff like that you know, but we're just busting on through here I I would run the benchmark to show you the frame count and all that but the game tends to crash when it goes to close. Don't go to sleep, laptop. <laughs> the laptop wants to go to sleep. So I'm just rolling into traffic. Now I'm going to jump out. Yeah, jump out. There's a, no, it's this button. There we go. Let's get some uh, explosions going on. There we go. So you can see it slows down a little bit, but not too much. Now, if I run this in 1080, it slows down quite a bit. You know, because this game is high demanding on the hardware. That's why it's 64 bit only. It's too much for the 32 bit processing. Okay. So now, enough of that. So, let's exit game. Yes, just exit. Just quit. We quit. And, uh,. I'm going to show you one more game and then we're cutting this uh, review off because soon enough the uh, roommate will be back with their kids from school and 
I'll be unable to really do much right now. I usually record my videos at night, but for something like this, I, I had to do it in the daytime. That way you can see, I don't need extra too much extra lighting. As you can see outside, it's kind of dim light. Weather's not so great. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Tacoma, Washington. If you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. It'll change. And it's rainy today. Yesterday it was sunny. The day before it was stormy weather. Uh, oh, you crash on me. Yeah. yeah, see, and GTA just crashed on me. I don't know what's going on, but I, when I go to record something like this, now it wants to crash. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, we're back. Now, um, here's one that, uh, some people play that I, I, I kind of started to get into. Dark Souls 2. Let's load up some Dark Souls tools. I can play this game at 1080 with full detail. As a, there we go. Full screen mode. <laughs> Alright, so. And again, I'll show you the, the uh, video settings. I, I know the, they show up a little blurry on here because, again, this is a webcam on a laptop that's just there. I can't move it. I can't zoom in. I can't zoom out. I, I would like to autofocus. Uh, but, uh, so, video. Full screen 1080. Auto, auto detect best rendering settings. Well, auto detect gave me, uh, High, uh, texture quality high, shadow quality high, effects high, anti aliens actually on on this game, motion blur, camera motion blur is on, anastropic filtering strong, SSAO high, depth of field is on, water surface quality is high, and high quality character rendering enable for all characters, model quality is high, and I again, I recommend turn off anti alien on things, but in this game. I left it on and uh, I'll just show you uh, you know what this looks like I mean this is one of the few games I can actually run with anti-alien on and and still have no slowdown a lot of the other games I play if I have anti-alien on it slows it down ooh blurriness oh there we go we're not blurry no more I mean look at that quality that detail Okay, so let's. What's my run button? Now that's my stabby stabby button. So I just want to get into some some fighting. So we're gonna use this thing, uh, bonfire. Let's travel to. Uh, of course, turn seems to be twitched. High tower of flame. Now we'll just go to the cathedral. Yes. Yep, sometimes I will hack a game when I'm testing and doing stuff like this just so that I can see how much uh, detail I get. No, it's not that button. That's not the button I want. There's my run button. Let's run. Let's do that. I mean, this is running quickly, smoothly. And I see. That's the thing. I want to go out there and just go straight into a battle. If I play this long enough, I could show you a room with a lot of people, but I mean, look at this. It's looking nicely. 1080 full detail with anti alien. Things are moving in the background. I see big people around here. The dragon fight was just crazy, but smooth, you know. We'll walk over here. Maybe this guy will fight. I mean, as you can see, I'm moving fluently. Yep, he fights. Fight me, fight me, fight. Tear me up, go ahead, kill me. I mean, this this is moving smoothly. Smoothly. Everything in the background, you know, you see stuff doing things in the background. You know, they're they're moving fluently and stuff like that. There's just there's no slowdown or anything like that. So uh Yes, I want to quit. All right.
So, uh, yeah. Let's rotate this back around. <laughs> Hi, how y'all doing? <laughs> okay. But anyways, anyways, you know, I I rate this thing pretty high. I, I'm actually satisfied with it. I mean, even though like GTA 5, GTA Online, I had to go 720 and mid detail. Most games, I'm playing 1080 with maximum detail. You know, uh, I, I like it. I like, I like the thing, you know. I do recommend this model. The EI750. The other ones, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of lacking. This is the, the best one I've seen out of all their mini PCs. You know, I'm not, I've seen reviews of the other mini PCs as well. This, this one, there's not that many reviews because most people got a sour taste from some of the lower spec uh, models that, that they have. I mean, even though this is one of the one antenna models, not the two antennas, the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity on this is stellar. You know, um, I'm not that close to the the router, and uh, I'm still getting epic speeds. You know, uh, everything is awesome with this thing. I mean, I like it. Okay, you know, I mean, I like it. That's my honest opinion. This thing is. Uh, Powerful mini PCs designed for demanding gamers. You know, I wouldn't say that this gives you 4K gaming. I mean, I I I I, can't, I haven't tested that, so I can't speak about it. You know, and I haven't seen a review that shows the 4K gaming, whatever. I mean, this is on the box, but I mean, sometimes sometimes companies aren't too honest. But for for what I got so far, it's 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 awesome. So. You know, and this thing is small. It doesn't take up much room. And this thing does not overheat that, that, that quickly. And, I mean, I've had this gaming for hours on end, and this thing, it just, it's got great airflow. You know, it stays cool enough. Well, the, uh, but there's not much else I can say about it. I mean, you, the, I'll put the link down below to the to the Zotac website. I bought mine through Amazon, so you know, because I do a lot of shopping through Amazon. But uh, anyways, you, you know, if this if this uh, video was helpful for you um, in deciding whether or not to go for like a mini PC like this or or anything like that, or you enjoyed it, hit that like button. You got any comments, questions, or suggestions? Feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I mean, you got any questions you want to ask me? I, I, I will answer them. You know, and if if you want to see more videos like this or any other videos on my channel that you like, hit that subscribe button. But as always, I'm DJ Bila from Project Bubblegum. Till next time, y'all.